No. I don't. Personally, I don't. I know some girls do, but personally, mm. I, if a man is not giving me what I want, I'm not going to give him what he wants. What do you want? Well, personally, I do want a, a little closer to the mic. I do want a relationship. I'd rather sleep with someone that I'm with and comfortable than sure. sleep with other men. But a lot of guys here are like, no, I'm just like, especially like it's my first year, or I'm just here to have fun, or my grandma died and this is why I cheated, you know. So well, I mean, I would say it's, it's difficult in college because people, especially at the party school like UCSB or Santa Barbara City College, it's, it is more difficult. But I think part of the problem is women are all sort of, women are all chasing after the top 10, top 20% of men. So you're chasing after the guys who are most capable of sleeping with a lot of women. So why would they settle down why would they just pick one when they can have n new novel experiences all the time? I would say that, you know, perhaps often I think women overlook men that would actually be dutiful, loyal partners, but those men typically are, you don't find them attractive, they're not exciting, they're maybe, uh, women often like bad boys, or you often hear this trope of wanting a bad boy, jerks, assholes, all this shit. Um, how often do you hear women say something about the, the vibe doesn't exist, right? It really depends. I mean, yes, definitely the guys that are like very attractive are most likely to, you know, hook up because, you know, they can get some girls. So why wouldn't they? Sorry, no, I was reading a comment. I Other girls throwing comment. it at him. They're throwing it yes, at him. No, I'm, I, that you're right on that. But I'm just saying at the same time, yeah, like, I feel like being attractive shouldn't like matter. It should be what you feel and how you're comfortable with. So. Okay, I think we had two of the girls left, <laughs> but uh, it's kinda, they didn't even say bye, but okay. Um, so we need to wrap here pretty soon, but okay. Um, so whose fault is hookup culture? I just want to finish that really quick. Who, I don't know if, did you go? Oh no. Um, like she said, I think it's a balance. Um, you can't have one with the other, without the other. Like when people say they have, like in high school, when people are like, "Oh, my body count is so high, mine is so low." Like, who's lying here? Like, it's a, it's a balance. I think it's definitely women because if women weren't putting out, then men wouldn't have the ability to, and so there wouldn't be any hookup culture. Exactly. So it's yeah. because women are putting out and having sex with more men more frequently, they are controlling that. And men are obviously going to take it because what else are they going to do? They're just going to, you know, yeah. not take it? Like, what? <laughs> hey, listen, the fish yeah. market can't be open if there's no fish for sale. Word. But really quick around the table on this. Who controls access to sex, men or women? Women. Yeah, women. Women, obviously. Yeah. 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 Women. yeah, so I would say hookup culture if we want to see hookup culture stop because, well, women kind of control when sex happens. So do you have anyone to blame but yourselves on that one? Do you know, thoughts? Okay, yeah, crickets, here we go. Okay, so, and also I, I mentioned kind of as it relates to why it's impressive, just bringing it back to what you were saying about F-boys, why it's impressive for a guy to be an F-boy. I, I don't particularly, me personally, like I've never been interested in just running through a bunch of girls. It, does, it doesn't interest me. As someone who's always been very focused individual, I don't have time. I don't, it's, it's a headache a lot of the time with dating, and I'm sure women relate to this too. There's a lot of bullshit that comes with dealing, uh, like with dating. And there's people flake and it's just, I much prefer having a partner and having something serious with her. And it doesn't, what, also just the STD risk, it does not interest me. I don't wanna like, it's hard enough as it is dating. Imagine like in handicapping yourself and like getting herpes or some shit. Imagine like the fucking girl of your dreams and you have to disclose to her, oh, by the way, like I'm positive. Like, I'm like, fuck dude, it's already hard enough as it is, so. For me, it's just not worth the risk. Um, I've always preferred long, I like to sleep with a girl one time. It's just, 
there's no point to it. I much prefer continuity. I much prefer long-term things. And I, honestly, even if your motivation is strictly sex, you're going to have, I think, the best sex with someone that you care about and love, and she loves you, and you know what they, purely on a physical level, you know what they like, she knows what you like, there's a comfort. So I think, uh, me personally, I, I don't, I'm not really interested in just having a huge roster. It doesn't interest me, but um, word. So, <laughs> but yeah, just to bring it back to the easy thing, uh, it's very difficult for men to get laid. So that's why it's impressive. Like an average girl could sleep with a new guy every single day of the week if she wanted to. Whereas like for a guy to be able to sleep with a new girl every single day of the week, that's like a top 1% guy. It's a lot of work. That's like, you gotta be fucking good looking, have game, probably probably have status to pull that shit off too. Um, you have to be bringing some, quite a bit to the table to pull that off. So it's, I think there's a comedian, I forgot his name, but he, it's something like, it's easy to be a slut. It's hard to be a stud. Okay, uh, I think they're hate me now. Okay. No, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just like it's not even. I don't know how I've encountered so many boys that not me personally, but just witnessed them. Like I don't know how I've seen so many guys that are boys, but it's apparently hard to get laid. I mean, obviously, I don't know what it's like to get laid as a as a male because I'm not a guy. But it's that's just, just like, hard. <laughs> it's just I don't understand then how I've witnessed so many have seen so many boys mm. or maybe it's just like I don't know you've seen a lot of fuck boys well yeah do you think there's more boys than there are just like average dudes working at McDonald's that are invisible to most women like most men are invisible to most women well and this is backed up by uh, data from dating apps women swipe left uh, some of you on dating apps like you probably swipe no on like the vast majority of men women are also much harsher grades of a male's physical appearance than men are of women's physical appearance well i feel like it kind of goes back to the easy part because men are easy but finding a guy that meets your desired like expectations and your standards is very hard it's hard it's hard for guys too it's hard for us to find like a decent woman yeah, I agree with that. Like a woman that's like not going to be like crazy and fucking talk back and fight and cause like everything's oppressing her. Like, you know, dude, it's like there's some crazy bitches out there for real. It is hard for dudes, too. I get it. It's hard for you because it's harder for women because once you give up your body, you know, it's kind of like a gamble. You're like, is this guy going to stay? Is this guy going to stick around? You know what I mean? So it's harder for you. I get that. But at the same time. This is the world y'all made because your homegirls are out there giving out that cooch for fucking basically free. Because I, I don't think men have really changed. Men, we've kind of just adapted to the new marketplace. So, men's ha- women's happiness is going down every year. Men's happiness is kind of just like putting along, kind of you know, it's slightly trending up. Mm-hmm. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. No, w- women's happiness since the nineteen. 19- in America, women have been increasingly unhappy every single year since, I believe it was like the beginning of the women's sexual liberation movement, which is kind of a joke too, because like it was, they, they tricked women to thinking like, oh yeah, you're gonna be really, really, really valuable by giving yourself away to men very, very, very cheaply. That's how you're gonna be liberated. It's like- And it's only beneficial to the men. Yeah. It's not helping women at all. Well, it's only beneficial to the top tier of men, I would say. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, top, top percentage of men, for sure. Yeah. 